I joined the Navy and I actually signed up in June of 40 and I was called to active duty the 24th of September of 40. When I left boot camp, they had already signed me to the USS Trevor in Pearl. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. At Pearl, in the morning, Joe, I'd been on duty, I went on duty 8 o'clock Saturday morning. Yeah. I was boat engineer at the captain's gig. Uh, I was ready to go off duty. My relief was there. Oh, okay. All right? And I hadn't left the boat. We, you know, you had, you had a little bit, Joe. We were going back to the States the next morning. All of a sudden, I hear the roar of a full-powered aircraft engines, huh? Unbelievably raw. And I'd seen the clipper land and take off, but this was a really a powerful engine. And as I looked, I seen them drop to two, two torpedoes in the water. And the torpedoes heading for the Utah, USS Utah. Huh? And as he came out over, he looked down on us, Joe. I seen the red ball, Japs. I went right, right to my gun, huh? And I no sooner got to the gun when a plane that had dropped torpedoes on the California came by, dead, prop dead, not turning. But I see this little guy up in front trying to keep that plane in the air. I watched that plane go down the lower bay. He tucked the plane in and hit the water. I seen one guy get out of that hatch cover back, get out and get on the wing. A moment later, I see a plane coming right wing of flame, burning, also attacked in the California. It might have attacked the Navy Yard, but it, the, the, the dry dock was beyond, oh. yeah. So coming that way, they either were at the Pennsylvania and the Casson down or the, the California, and then the, the Curtis was next to the line of Medusa, and then us. Huh? For about a lot of sight, that plane was coming right at us. When they got to the Curtis, he dove it into the hangar deck of the Curtis and killed a lot of men. Huh? And later on, during the attack, a plane attacked us from the north, and we, our all four ships hit him and tore the wing off and tore him apart. Uh, the bomb, Joe, went astern of us, a good 50 yards or more astern of us. Now, to this day, I have told the Navy, and I've told every guy I ever saw, that bomb did not explode. It went in a splash, because I've seen bombs hit the water and explode and there's a huge gush of water come on. This didn't happen. Joe and I, with the gun not being able to fire an anti-aircraft, I just watched it all take place. But then, halfway through the attack, guess what? They said, Switzy, get in the man the whale boat. I had to go, we took the whale boat. We went down around the island, down past the Arizona, already sunk and blown to bits. The Oklahoma was already upside down. Went to 1010 dock to find our skipper. A captain. He wasn't there. But we took a bunch of officers back with us. We loaded the boat up to get back. Back to the ship to get underway. When we started to get underway, Joe, the Nevada was being hit in front of us. We actually backed down a little ways down the channel to stay clear of the, <laughs> to put the, the trouble there. And after that, we got underway. We were left out of the harbor. We steamed out of the harbor and we had taken the captain of the Hovi aboard, one of the officers. He came back with us, not hoping to get to the Hovi, which was anchored a little bit further away, but we never got him. We took him aboard the Trevor. When after we got out of the harbor, the, Trovi, the Hovi came in behind us, and we put the skipper of the Hovi in a life raft and let him drift back to the Hovi to get him to the Hovi. Now, we stayed out to sea until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Three o'clock in the afternoon, we came back in the harbor. We were the first ship that had been in the harbor to come back in. And like I tell the guys, we came back in and we, here was the, here was the uh, Utah, with 70 men in the hull, huh? our first memorial. And then around the corner, and there's the Arizona. What thousand? 177 men. And then the Oklahoma, upside down with 460 men aboard on memorial. I didn't realize at the time they were going to become national memorials, but I saw them first.